What if I told you you don't need the skills of a painter or any other Photoshop skills to create stunning images like these? All you need is a decent computer and creative prompts. Stable Diffusion is a text-to-image model. You give it a piece of text, aka prompt, and it creates an image. So you write a portrait photo of Jethlon Zuckergates, and in under 10 seconds, it creates a portrait photo of what looks like a combination of Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, and Bill Gates. Or you can ask it to make Oprah Winfrey as an anime. And boom, there is Oprah as an anime. How cool is that? And yes, unlike Dalai 2, with stable diffusion, you can create art with specific identities of individuals, but more on that later. The cool thing about Stable Diffusion is that similar AI already exists behind an API. Stable Diffusion is open source, which means you can download it, use it, and even modify it. So, is it better than Dali 2? In this video, we will compare both AIs, and we will try similar prompts on both models and compare photos side by side to determine which one is better. Both are easy to access. You basically create an account, and within a minute, you can start creating. As far as affordability goes, Stable Diffusion gives you about 512 images for free. And when you are out, you must pay one cent per 512 by 512 image. If you want to create larger images like Dolly 2's 1024 by 1024, it will cost you about 10 cents. Whereas for Dolly 2, one image costs 15 cents. But additionally, Dolly 2 gives you 15 free credits every month. So definitely, Dolly 2 gives you more for your money, especially when you consider the size of the images. As far as quality goes, Dolly 2 does a much better job at photorealistic images. Stable Diffusion, on the other hand, is much better at doing artistic style paintings. So if you are a character designer, definitely go with Stable Diffusion. But if you are going for photorealism, Dolly 2 has the advantage right now. Additionally, Stable Diffusion gives you the option of choosing the size of the image you want to create. Unlike Dolly 2, which only allows you to create 1024 by 1024 photos. For speed, we've got to give it to Stable Diffusion. It takes Dolly 2 about 10 to 20 seconds to generate an image, while it only takes 5 to 10 seconds for Stable Diffusion to create images. So if you want speed, Stable Diffusion is your AI. Both models give you commercial licensing to your work, but Dolly 2 also gives you commercial ownership over your prompts, while Stable Diffusion only gives you commercial licensing over your photos. Both AIs have censorship, but unlike Dolly 2 with Stable Diffusion, you can create photos with specific identities of people, adult content, and violent content. A lot of people love that they can create about anything they want with Stable Diffusion, but this can quickly turn into a nightmare. As inappropriate these photos may be, the fact that Stable Diffusion allows people to create such images is what has made this model so popular. Stable Diffusion also has a search engine called Lexica, where you can search through previously generated images along with their prompts, something Dolly 2 doesn't have. Surprisingly, when you search for images on Lexica, you will most likely find what you're looking for. Give it a try and let us know what you think. Let's now try out both models using similar prompts and see which one creates the best images. Starting off with renders, both models were given a prompt Epic Render of Burning Skull, Octane Render. Hmm, the images from both models are on point. The fire on the photo created by Dolly 2 doesn't look as real as the one on Stable Diffusion. Plus, you can see the texture on the skull created by Stable Diffusion. Now, let's try a more artistic drawing. Keeper of the Forest, Rugged Muscular Mayo. Atmospheric lighting with flowers covering his body. Illustration art by Greg Rutkowski. We have a clear winner on this one. Not only did Stable Diffusion get the lighting right, but plants are also covering his body. And if you are familiar with Greg Rutkowski's artistic style, you know that Stable Diffusion got it right. On the other hand, Dolly 2 created what looks like a rugged muscular male, but the lighting is off and that is definitely not Greg Rutkowski's artistic style. All right, let's try another artistic photo. 
Portrait of a Cat, Art by Van Gogh. This is a close one. Stable Diffusion created a portrait that is very similar to the iconic Van Gogh painting, but Dolly 2 also did a great job on this one. I will let you decide on the winner. Let me know in the comments. And if you are enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, and it helps us reach more people. Now how about we try something more realistic? A realistic photo of a gorgeous black woman with curly hair. My God! Dolly! Now we are talking. The realism of the photo created by Dolly 2 is amazing. If you didn't know that this was created by Dolly, you would think this is a photo of a real human. On the other hand, Stable Diffusion seems to struggle with creating realistic images. The eyes in the photo are off, and the hand does not look normal. Stable Diffusion still has a long way to go when it comes to photorealistic images. How about we try something a little bit more complicated? Let's see what happens when you add a camera setting to your prompts. High resolution photo of a cat being carried in a backpack, shot on a 130mm lens. The detail on both photos is amazing. If you can now create high quality images like these in just 10 seconds, there will be no more reason to worry if you can't find the perfect stock image. Now you can just create it. The photo created by Dolly 2 is slightly better because the AI actually put the cat in the backpack, and it looks more real compared to Stable Diffusion's image. This is a great example that shows us how well AI understands the world around us. Many say that we are very close to seeing sentient AI. Many philosophers would say that the creation of sentient AI would be the greatest invention in human history. But unfortunately, it would also be the last. Watch our video on what would happen if artificial intelligence became self-aware. Unfortunately, the worst case scenario is more likely to happen. Now, what if you want to create a character for, let's say, an anime? A headshot portrait of an anime boy with pink hair and pink wolf ears wearing a hoodie and green eyes. That is very specific, yet Dolly 2 and Stable Diffusion can still pull it off. The two characters are exactly what the prompt asked for. The two characters look so similar, yet different at the same time. The one created by Stable Diffusion looks like an innocent underdog character, while the one created by Dolly 2 looks more like a troublemaker. Let us know your favorite. If you are curious to know what Dolly thinks it looks like, be sure to check out our video on how Dolly 2 can draw anything you describe to it. Spoiler alert, Dolly 2 seems to be cuddly. Leave us a like and subscribe to the channel to help us reach more people with this content. If you are a digital creator or want to create personalized print-on-demand products using AI text-to-image generated art, we are thrilled to tell you about Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is the largest marketplace for creators and designers for creating print-on-demand products and digital assets. They have over 5 million graphics and more than 100,000 fonts that you can choose from. And they are proud to introduce their latest tool, CF Spark. It's an AI image generator that creates 100% unique images that you can download, commercialize, or even use on your print-on-demand products. When you create something with CF Spark, it will only be visible to you. If you choose to publish it, the creation will become available to the community. And from this moment, it will be eligible to participate in the $100,000 contest happening this month. Creative Fabrica is hosting a competition that will reward the best image generated by CF Spark with $100,000. So the more art you create and publish, the more chances you get to win the grand prize. You can join Creative Fabrica for free, and they offer a $9 a month subscription option that lets you download your own creations with a commercial license. On top of that, you get 1,000 speed credits that allow you to jump to the top of the queue. Just click the link in the description below and start creating amazing art and get a chance at winning $100,000. Thanks to Creative Fabrica and all of you for supporting this channel.